This new AI changes everything for real estate agents who cold call FISBOs or expires to generate their listings. Now, when I say AI, most people think of things like ChatGPT or image generation, but AI is everywhere. And this new AI I'm about to show you in this video today is probably something you have never heard about before. And it's going to be cold AIs. So let's dive right into a demo of one of these tools. And remember, there's countless of these tools. Some of them are better, some of them are worse, but this is just one example of one of these tools. Now, this new tool I'm about to show you will have the capacity to have a full 10 to 40 minute sales conversation that sounds like a real human, have infinite memory, perfect recall, and can also autonomously take actions across 5,000 plus applications at the same time. It can do the entire job of a full-time agent without having to be trained, managed, or motivated. And it just works 24 seven, 365. So let's click here and let's play a demo on this AI. Hey, James. I'm not interested, man. Yeah, no worries. I hate calls out of the blue too, but I'm actually from Apple and I saw you were checking out Vision Pro and were about to pre-order, but left the page. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I was have time curious, what are you looking into potentially? Okay, I can respect that. Can I just ask one question before you go? Uh, fine, shoot, what's up? Why did you, well, why did you decide not to pre-order the Vision Pros? I saw you changed your mind last minute. Um, cause they are crazy expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna get the meta quest instead. I get it. But you saw what happened to threads, right? <laughs> Do you think the meta quest will end up being a better product than the vision pros or is it just the price? Now, obviously we can hear that this is not a real human being. It's about 90% of the way there as far as being as good as a human being right now. But what does this mean for real estate agents that are currently cold calling expires or FISBOs to generate their listings? Well, look, most real estate agents don't get their listings from cold calling. Most real estate agents get their listings from referrals, sphere influence, and really they're kind of like close repeat clients. When real estate agents are trying to get listings outside of their sphere, most people do cold calling for FISBOs or expireds. And there's obviously a lot of real estate agents that do base their businesses on expireds or FISBOs and activities like this. Now, for real estate agents that are growing their real estate businesses with cold calling specifically, this is about to rapidly change in the next six to 24 months. This new technology is on the brink of revolutionizing the entire sales industry, not just real estate sales industry. And while it will not beat a seasoned top tier cold caller just yet, it's conservative to say that in the next six to 24 months, these tools will be as good, if not better, cold callers than any human could ever be. And the reason why is because these AIs are gonna be able to call people at 24 seven, 365 meaning they will never stop. So imagine a FISBO pops into your market. When a real estate agent, an average real estate agent, they would be showing a house or working with a client or something like this, these AIs will have ability to just jump on it in seconds, right at that time when it comes up and just make calls in a similar level or in a better way than any real estate agents could ever do. And when this happens, it's going to be an end of an era for many professions in the sales industry, but also for cold calling in the real estate industry. And this diminished opportunity in cold calling, this massive saturation when it comes down to cold calling skills and cold calling activity will lead to even greater importance when it comes down to personal branding and relationships based marketing. And really everybody knows that yes, relationships are important when it comes down to generating listings, relationships are important when it comes down to growing a real estate business, but this is just gonna go massively, 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 even more important. And this is gonna ultimately be a necessity if you want to generate listings from outside of your sphere. So who ends up winning here? Who are the winners? Who are the losers? So ultimately the reality is that agents are not going to be the people that are going to be operating these cold calling AIs because these are very complex kind of things where you have to do a lot of coding, you have to do a lot of com about computers, you have to scale them, you have to train them. There's a lot of things going on here. So the average real estate agent won't have the time or the bandwidth just to operate and train and do all these things for these AIs. So there is going to be companies that are going to specifically focus on training AIs to dominate 
dominate FISBOs and to dominate expired listings in every market and probably going to connect these real estate agents to these people, likely with a significant paper closing model, similar to what, what we know, example, with Zillow right now. So what can you do to prepare for this? So now we know, OK, right now you can still do cold calling. It's still a viable thing. You know, the AI is not dominating this yet. But you know that in six to 24 months, it's very, very likely to happen. Well, when we look at the landscape and we look at the playing field real estate agents are in, on one side, we have the AI rising and creating a lot of change in the industry. At the same time, people are spending more time online. People are spending more time on social media. And the average person currently spends seven hours and four minutes looking at screens daily with a significant portion of that time going to social media, looking at their phones, looking up their laptops, even looking at social media on their TVs. So we know that traditional marketing is becoming more and more ineffective because it's so saturated, but also because the attention is going from traditional marketing, looking at the outside, looking at the mail, it's going from that into more and more online. It's going to more and more into screens over and over and over again. Now, we also know that the way that people respond to marketing has completely changed. It's going to be changing more and more. And what I mean by this is, let's say 10 years ago, you could just run an ad about houses. It would be a great house. Like, let's say it's a million dollar house. And you would say, get a list of $500,000 homes. And everybody would be like so amazed by it. would immediately trust the ad, immediately respond to it, right? Now, nowadays, people have already seen that ad 1,000 times. They're already skeptical about working with real estate agents. There's all this fear and uncertainty going on in the marketplace. And it's not enough for you to just run one ad and run one rip campaign and just get somebody's trust. So the thing is, the more and more we go, the more and more people need to have larger period when it comes down to building your trust, building your authority, and really building that situation for yourself where you turn a stranger into your listing client. And so we can predict that relationship-based marketing is going to only go bigger and bigger. This is going to be the play because as we get these AIs cold calling these leads, cold calling these uh, cold calling these Facebooks, cold calling these expires, it's only going to get worse and worse and worse because cold prospecting opportunities, they will dry out because AI cold organizations will simply take over. So in this landscape, the winning play is to focus on relationships and both in person, locally, but also at scale on social media, where you can really get in front of thousands of local people all at once at the same time, but also be in alignment with the people. So this is where they're already looking. You can be exactly where they're looking and where they're at. And the reality is that the easiest way for you to build new relationships and build your brand with potential sellers and strengthen also the existing relationships you already have built up is through social media. This is the most under leveraged platform still when it comes down to real estate marketing right now. And so this is only going to continue to be more and more important as the time goes on. Yet most agents, they have not cut up. Most agents are still not leveraging pro social media in the way that it's supposed to be leveraged. They're still posting just sold. They're still posting just listed. They're still posting just automated content tools, or they just run these spammy ads to get from the brokerage or from a generic lead generation company that nobody really engages with or nobody really responds with. And so this is why you you as a real estate agent, if you are right now basing your business on cold calling or if you're basing your business on anything related to cold prospecting, this is why agent, if you are an agent like that, you want to stay ahead of the curve. So instead of waiting for six months, waiting for 12 months, waiting for 24 months, when this happens, when this is the meta, this is so to say the thing that everybody is doing, instead of waiting, just do it right now change your business model, adapt to it right now. And then this way you'll already be ahead of the curve before that even happens. So let's talk about the two things you want to be doing right now today if you want to adapt to the marketplace. First thing is to build a strong personal brand in your local marketplace that people can actually connect with. This means building relationships online through your social media content, just as you would offline, just doing it at scale with social media. Now, just like we discussed, a lot of real estate agents have social media platforms. It's very likely if you're an average real estate agent, you already have a Facebook personal account, you already have a Facebook business account, you already have a LinkedIn account, you already have an Instagram account, you probably may have a YouTube 
YouTube channel, and you do have an email list of the clients you have worked with. You have access to all of these resources, all of these platforms. The thing is, for most of real estate agents, they're not necessarily leveraging these platforms for a full extent, meaning the content that they're creating, it may be off, the messaging may be off, maybe your conversion strategies are off, so you're not turning these people from a follower, you're not turning these people from a friend, into an actual listing, into an actual listing appointment, into an actual conversation. So this next year, focus on building a strong personal brand. Focus on getting better at these skills, whether that be your content creation, whether that be your messaging, whether that be really your conversion strategies, your branding, whatever the case may be, make sure you get great at this because a lot of this stuff, it's going to get moved over onto building relationships without even having a cold call. So meaning when you talk to the person, they have already usually seen you 20, 30, 50 times. And now when you guys talk together, they already kind of know who you are. You just don't know them necessarily as closely as they know you. So this comes out to really building those parasocial relationships I have covered before, where you have an audience of people and we're putting out content, you're building all these relationships at the same time. So build a strong personal brand on social media, get great at this, master this, invest into these skills and make sure people can actually connect with it. So don't delegate it to a virtual assistant or do AI thing or any of these things. Do it yourself, be in the content yourself. Now, the second thing you wanna be doing is building your own lead generation systems based on social media ads. The thing is most real estate agents purchase their leads through platforms like Zillow, Realtor.com or really any lead platform or lead provider. And what happens here is that, of course, we get these leads coming in, but the problem is, is that these leads, they don't get any extra marketing from you. They don't get any relationships building from you. So you do generate the leads, but the problem is, again, we don't get that side effect of that lead generation, which is them seeing your ads, them building a relationship with you, them getting to know you. And when this change comes up in about six to 24 months, when we get this AI to a level where it's really, really good, it, it's going to become so good that the user interface itself at some point will not require advanced coding, will not require advanced development skills. And so when you are on top of your game, you'll be able to then integrate these kinds of things, these kinds of technologies into your own lead generation systems. And so what I mean by this is let's say you're running YouTube ads to generate your own listing leads. We know for a fact that based on a study done by MIT alone, they had an 800% difference, 800% higher chance of you converting that lead into a client when you call the lead in five minutes of getting that lead. So you're getting these leads from your YouTube ads and then from here you have an automation in place where you plug in the AI and in 30 seconds lead comes in, you're going to call automatically that lead, qualify their situation and then ultimately set an appointment for yourself. So this technology, especially at the beginning, when we get started with this AI technology and nobody else really has it yet, is gonna make your ad campaigns really, really profitable. The reason why this happens is because you're gonna be converting your leads that you're getting from these YouTube ads to listing appointments at an extremely, extremely effective rate. And because of that reason, you're able to outspend your competitors in your marketplace. So when an average real estate agent, let's say they're able to spend $500 a month, you're able to spend $5,000 a month, again, because your ads are just so effective. And quickly, you're gonna become one of the most well-known, if not the most recognized agents in your market, if you do this really, really well, because your ads are gonna be the ones that people just see over and over and over again. And when this happens, what this also means for you as real estate agents is the fact that, okay, you're running these ads, you're building your brand, you're doing all these things, but at the same time, when you have this AI technology plugged into your business, you're saving all this time because now you're no longer doing cold calling, you're no longer calling the leads yourself, it's just all automated, it's just happening on the back end. So based on the trends we are on right now, this is clearly where we're headed. I don't say, I'm not saying that this is the situation right now. The AI is just not good enough just yet. We don't have the technology to do these things right now, but in six to 24 months, this is going to be where we're gonna be at very, very quickly, sooner than you think. So be prepared for these changes. And you know, when most agents hear about changes, I remember talking about social media about seven years ago when we started the company, most people do understand it. Most people say, okay, I see the value in it. I feel like it's important at the moment, but nothing really changes interactions. So I see that maybe about 10% of real estate agents actually 
put things into action, make the actual changes and change the way they're running the business. So a couple hours later, after watching this video, a lot of you will probably forgotten about this video right here. And maybe you're scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram, going about your day. But then six, 24 months later, again, this is going to happen. And you think to yourself that maybe you should have actually taken action on this so that you would have gotten left behind. Because this is going to make a massive, massive change into the way the leads and the clients are generated and ultimately going to be beaten by competitors if you don't have these things in place. So my advice for you is start right now. Don't wait before this technology comes in. Don't wait before this becomes even more important, but start off by working on your personal brand while you still can and while you can still be prepared for this. Work on building your own social media paid advertising system. So build your funnels, make sure you know how to create video ads, make sure you know how to create text and picture based ads, make sure you know the numbers of how these different campaigns work and make sure that you have proper nurturing systems in place. Make sure that you have actual campaign on the back end. Okay, lead comes in, you're showing them content over and over again that gets them to trust you. This is going to become more and more important. Now, this is so important right now, but it can become even more important later on down the road.